This video is a companion to the written tutorial found in the Getting Started section of the Octane Manual, specifically the first render section. The goal of this video is to give you a general overview of the Octane rendering process. Don't worry about grasping every detail right now, future videos will cover these aspects in greater depth. Before we begin, let's remove the box object. Step 1. Import or create geometry in Blender. In this example, we will use the monkey. Step 2. In the Render Engine dropdown, select Octane. If Octane is unavailable, please refer to initiating Octane Render inside Blender section in the manual. Step 3. Start a kernel node tree and select a render kernel type. There are several options available, but use the path tracing kernel. Step 4. From device preferences, ensure that you select an available GPU for rendering. Step 5. Activate the Octane Preview Render. Step 6. Illuminate the scene. By default, a blender lamp is included in the scene, but we will use an environment daylight to do most of the work. Step 7. Go to Color Management and make sure the View Transform is set to RAW. Step 8. Select the Monkey Mesh and apply new material under Material Properties. In Octane Universal Materials, we will change the albedo color to purple. Step 9. Select the default camera in the scene and access the camera settings. Use the number pad 0 to change the viewport to camera view, then use the Home keyboard key to fill the viewport with the camera view. Next, open the information panel with the N shortcut key and check Lock camera to view. Click N again to close the info panel. Now you can move the camera around from the perspective of the camera. Step 10. Modify the resolution settings for the rendered image in Output Properties and Format Rollout. Step 11. Spend some time enhancing your scene to make it visually appealing. Then proceed to render the scene from Render Image. Don't worry about the exact steps. I'll cover them in other videos. Thank you, and happy learning. 